So the first part for self-bullying is making sure the greet greet is on the right side of the rope. You want to make sure it's on the rope closest to you and that the end of the rope, as you can see here, comes out the front of the greet greet. So the greet greet is going to sit on you like this with the lever on the left side and the blue part on the right. The part that opens is going to be on the right and you want to make sure the end of the rope comes out the front right here. So you can open it up and you can see this arrow over here and the way, you know, the blue things over here, you want to take the end of the rope, so the part that doesn't have an end that's not going up to the top, and take it out the front like this, and then close it like this. And then take your carabiner, put it in, and hook it to yourself. The next thing is, since you're self blind, you want to make sure that you can either do a figure eight or a bow line on a bite, and you want to clip this to yourself as well. So you're going to have two carabiners or not in a carabiner clip to yourself. <coughs> this is the first steps to start self-blowing self is starting to actually climb. So you want to double check to make sure that the ropes are separated. If these are twisted up in any way, when you start to self blow it's going to be really hard to pull back. So you want to make sure they're nice and clean. And then I usually tighten the, tighten the rope, uh, just, just like a normal ATC, so you pull it like that and it'll auto lock. And then I usually step on a stone, get up, and just sit here. And while I'm sitting here, I like to tie a double or just a normal knot, but a, a good one, because this will be your last line of defense if anything happens to the device. And now what this does is if this device were to fail in any sort of way, it'll just lock right there and you won't hit the ground. So I'm going to get back up here and start climbing. And at any time, if I need to, let go or fall, the device it has, you know, it's got me. So that's the nice thing about a self belay is I can climb as much as I want, and if I fall, the, the device has got me. So the next thing, as I keep climbing, you'll notice that all this slack is here. If I fall now, I'm going to fall almost all the way to the ground. So every few feet, you want to keep pulling the rope in, just like a normal belay, until it gets tight again. But now you see my knot, my safety knot's all the way down there. I'm going to have too much momentum if I fall all the way down there. So I'm going to go about every three feet and tie a backup knot. And with this, I'm just going to take the rope, and I'm going to put it over my arm, I'm going to go under and around, and pull the rope through like that. Now there's a little bit of a gap here, so I'm gonna put another one down here. You usually don't wanna go quite as high uh, without tying knots, but I knew if I got to this platform, I could tie that one safely. So now you see I have three knots in there, they're all about three feet apart, so I'm good to keep climbing. This is where the hard part comes in, because I hold on one arm and pull this rope through with one other arm until it gets all the way tight. But now you see I don't have any safety nets again. So I'm going to hold this rope behind me while I lay back so I know the device is okay. And then now that I know it's okay, I'm going to pull the rope up and then tie a few more safety nets. And if you're, if you're holding onto the wall and you know you're tired, you can always lay back, and if you're having trouble tying the safety knots, feel free not to, you know, you don't want to risk falling a good distance, tighten the rope, tie your safety knots, and keep climbing. Alright, so the next part for auto blank is actually taking yourself back. So, as you can see, I kind of have a mess here, if you want to zoom in on this. So, it's kind of difficult to, you know, work around with this, but the best thing to do is just try to get this black lever over here, and once you get it kind of free, you're going to slowly pull it. Do not pull it tight, otherwise you're going to really go down fast. You want to slowly go, lean back, and as you approach a knot, before the knot gets stuck in the device, you want to pull it clear, and then keep going. And you just keep doing this slowly over and over. So you get to the ground. And then when you get to your big neck, you undo that one. 
before you let yourself down. And now you're on the ground. Okay. It's important to remember that it's not like a normal ATC. If you notice here, this thing moves up and down, which means when a rope is through here, it'll lock when there's a lot of weight on it, stopping it from going through, whereas a normal ATC will just keep letting the rope go through it. This means that we don't need a backup layer because if anything happens to me, like say I pass out or something, or say a rock comes off the wall and hits me in the head, you know, then nothing's going to happen to Canton because the rope will lock and it'll be fine. We're going to make sure that the rope is not twisted at all. That's one of the biggest things to remember when, when using a gree gree. So if you want to look up at the rope, you can see that it's not twisted. We're good. And then down here, we're going to set up to so the end of the rope. So this is the end over here is going to go out the end that has the blue thing wrote the pivot point right here. So the black bar is going to be on the left, the blue thing is going to be on the right, it's going to be hooked up like this, and we want the rope to come out the front. So we're going to set it up like that, lock it in, and then we're going to put the carabiner on it. Alright, so now we can see that it's ready to go, and I... On blade? Alright, so I don't have a crew to check with because Grigri -gri does it itself, you know, if, if anything happens to me, the Grigri -gri has Hampton, so I don't have to check with the crew, I can just save the way in if I'm ready. Climbing. All right, I'm going to tighten it like usual, get ready, and climb up. Now, the laying with the Grigri -gri is just the same as any other device. The only difference is, say, Canton, you want to take a fall? Notice how I don't even have to hold this if I really, I should, always keep one hand on it, but say if something does happen to me, the boy, the device does have Canton if he falls because it auto locks. All right, you can continue climbing. All right, so I'm going to make sure everything's good around me. I don't have to check with my team again, so taxi on. Now when, when taxiing with a gree gree, it's a little different because you don't just let the rope through, you have to actually pull this lever. And this is one of the biggest things people mess up. People will yank this lever and that'll let all the rope through and he'll just drop. You want to make sure you slow, once you, you see all this play right here, that's fine, but then once you get to this tight spot, you want to slowly let it through until you get a good comfort for it. And keep this hand always behind you like this, and slowly let him down. Until he's off. Climb off. You're good. Belay off. <laughs> Alright, so that's how to belay with the Grieger.